Hello all, Shoestring here. I want to do an update on my Power Queen 12.8 volt 200 amp hour batteries I bought. I'm afraid I've been out for a while because I need to do some upgrades and I really can't afford to do the upgrades I want. So what do you do when you want to do something and it costs more money than you have? Well, I'm retired, as most of you know, but last month or so, I've been online tutoring people. And uh, it helps them get through their classes and pass their exams. And it helps me pick up some extra money so I can continue to do what I want. So, these are Power Queens. This is part two. I did part one, and I unboxed them, and I charged them all up. And we did that. Then I said I'd do a part two because I wanted to give them a while. Some cheap batteries, by the way, and these are inexpensive batteries for what you get. I'll admit it. Some cheap batteries you get and you charge them up and after a couple of weeks, the charge, it doesn't hold a charge or it loses a lot of charge. But these have been hooked up for two months and they have not had a problem. So I have two, like I said, 200 amp hours. They are connected in parallel, which means they keep their 12 volts charge, but the amp hours is doubled. So they're connected red to red, right? Black to black, and then connected from there up to my charge controller. You can see right there have it all taped up to keep dirt and stuff out. These have been holding their charge really well, the batteries have. As you can see, they're still 13.4 volts. I'm using about 312 watts in the house. You just heard the fan from the inverter come on. And I'm bringing in about 23.4 amps from my solar. Right. And I keep track of how much I use each day. Right now, 19.6. Anyway, they've been doing a great job. I plan on getting two more of these, by the way. Still going to do in parallel, where I end up having four, each 200 amp hour, connected with the same charge controller. This Morning Star has been really good. I've had it for a very long time, and it works great. The only problem I have with my inverter here is it is not a pure sine wave. It's an Ames. It's been doing a wonderful job, don't get me wrong, but I think I'm going to go to a pure sine wave. It, uh, I know it's upside down, but that's where the block is. See? Got to have the block that's going to connect it to the house power. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get a pure sine wave. I don't know what kind yet. And it has to be something that can work all the time. And uh, isn't going to go out in a year or two on me. If you have any recommendations out there for me, not really too expensive, but will do a really good job with heavy work, go ahead and put it down in the description. Uh, once again, my Power Queens have been doing a great job. I recommend them. Uh, remember... Power Queen didn't send these to me. I bought them. Morningstar didn't send me this charge controller. And Ames did not send me this inverter. I bought them. So um, keep that in mind. I do have a link to these batteries. Even though I'm told sometimes it doesn't work. I will get a few pennies from Amazon if you buy your batteries through the link. But uh, don't let that slow you down if you find a better deal someone else somewhere else please do it but it's been two months it's holding a charge really well it all stays balanced and it's doing an excellent job it handles all the power I need to put onto it it's not taking much right now in fact more is being put into the batteries than is being taken out right now so I'm really not losing anything so this is great. It's a sunny day out. Uh, it will draw more power if the well or something comes on, but that isn't going to be on all the time. And it handles that extremely well. So there's my update. Power Queen 
12.8 volts, 200 amp hours. Two months later, still working, still working great. Uh, we'll recommend them. If you have any questions, please ask. When I did my last video. I'll put the uh, link to that in the comments. And I'll show you why these are getting to be practically the same or even cheaper sometimes than wet lead acid batteries. So if you want to take a look at that video, please do. If you have any questions, as usual, put it down in the comments. If you like this type of video, please subscribe and like it. And shoestring 